Hello everyone, today I'd like to talk to you about Jean-Louis Scherer, uh, the Eau de Toilette. This was a fragrance that's been recommended to me by a friend and it's funny how things have worked um, so well lately with recommendations. This came as such a surprise to me. This was a very, very beautiful scent. Um, a very, very beautiful surprise. And it is a beautiful scent. It's a fragrance that I wore um, once or twice. So I'm still at the beginning of me, you know, finding out the things uh, that there is to be found out about this fragrance. This opens up so, so springy, so floral springy. But in fact, this is a Shepra. It's a floral Shepra uh, that will gradually darken. Now, if you look on the notes, um, you might be tempted to, or at least I was tempted to, put it in the same ballpark as uh, those early 70s fragrances, which were uh, Shemad just 69, uh, Amazon d'Hermes and um, Rive Gauche. Uh, but the, this is quite different, although the composition might uh, make you think of that ballpark, which is um, sandalwoody, creamy, white floral uh, with greener aspects. This indeed veers into more of the 80s types of type of fragrances um, that are truly green, very, very oak mossy sheepers, which is, you know, you know I, I love this. I love this so, so much. I don't think I've ever sprayed it on paper. I've only wore it on the skin and on the skin, it's quite different, but this is heavily aldehydic at first quite pissy, um, it is creamy, it is aldehydic, it is floral, and the type of fruity, floral, aldehydic things that you might find in Maginois, for instance, um, and it, it does share many similarities to Maginois um, without it becoming very resinous as Magie Noir does. Magie Noir has its own thing. Now, what this fragrance does... Oh, God. I can't, I can't let this go. What this fragrance does is... Towards its drier stages, it will focus more and more on patchouli oak moss. Because right now, it's green, floral springy, fresh, bit spicy, um, and all the headache, but it will end up with this earthy, green, very deep shade of green, um, mushroomy, all, all, almost, um, type of patchouli that becomes gradually more chocolatey as in um, Coromandel, maybe. So very, very interesting that. Now what it does here on the paper is I get a lot more of the floral heart. It's white with fruity tuberose, which is very interesting. And it's also very minty. And indeed, it reminds me of... So this, again, is a very galbanum-heavy scent. It does remind me of that very, very green thing that galbanum does. It's like smelling um, the sap of a plant. Um, think of fresh peas. That's the scent of fresh peas. When you dig your nail into a fresh pea. Um, and it's a very beautiful thing to have. Now the aldehydes are very strong and it sort of, it smells like nail polish. 
um, that um, sorry not nail polish but nail polish remover or um, paint thinner that's right it's got that very um, I don't know how to describe that it's well it's all the hitic um, but it's also quite pungent um, and I don't think well, let me know in the comments if you're a fan of that type of scent that type of smell in fragrances because I do like it I do think it's very elegant I find um, so this type of scent um, I find in uh, Mitsuko as well I find it in uh, La Panthère de Cartier um, and in many many others but it's sort of to me whenever I smell this type of um, scent it kind of announces the trajectory of a shipra but do let me know if you find this type of scent um, alluring to you because to me it's very very interesting and it's something I do like to wear there's a sort of elegant freshness to the type of old Ahitic shipras which I do like now just look at this bottle Have, did I mention that this was very very cheap as well this was 50 euros now I don't know I've never smelled the vintage um, I know this was or I heard this was quite popular uh, back in the day I've never heard of it before but the bottle is stunning and the vintage bottles were with the glass toppers or maybe they were they were plastic I don't know uh, they were very very beautiful as that uh, as well but for a very cheap fragrance this is the bottle is perfect the fragrance is beautiful um, this lasts for a very 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 long time it's a very powerful scent and it's the type of scent that can become when I first wore it it kind of gave me a bit of a headache <laughs> so this is not a terribly well balanced scent that's not to say it's not beautiful but I will definitely enjoy wearing this so this is essentially to me it's a patchouli oak moss which is still very fresh and very easy to wear in all sorts of you know weather and occasions it has this gardenia smell so it is um i earlier i mentioned it being quite mushroomy so it does have that carnal white floral gardenia almost plush petal type of smell which is very nice um but this is not the end of this of the fragrance right so you need to um be aware of its trajectory so if you're not a fan of patchouli um maybe don't maybe don't get this one but you should still try it um because the patchouli goes very very chocolatey towards the end which is very yummy and um very interesting and welcome in such a you know vintage older type of smelling scent so i do i do like this fragrance quite a lot i will enjoy wearing it i can't wear wait to start wearing it um, and uh, I guess that's it I don't know what else to tell you about Jean-Louis Scherer but if you have any other questions do let me know in the comments and until next time remember fragrance creates memories and may yours be happy